baby. Get your car, because we're going to go and discuss Vocaloid racing events. This is majorly awesome stuff that people in the southern side of the United States would love. Especially my cousin, who is a NASCAR fanatic. I mean, he has NASCAR fan stuff all over the place. Can't go in his house without seeing NASCAR everywhere. Cars, cars literally everywhere. You get a kick out of this one. Vocaloid plus racing equals awesome, because Vocaloid is also big into cars. Yeah, you heard it right. The best part of these racing events are the stage performances of the Vocaloids in the Segway to the race. <laughs> this is the great demo talk some Vocaloid racing events featuring Vocaloid cars. <laughs> First off, I gotta go into history of a racing event known as Super Gran Turismo, or most commonly known as Super GT. Super GT was started in 1993 to remake the racing scene from previous defunct events and it's been going for just about 25 years now. Now, racing has been around even before the car, but high speed racing has been around since the car. Unless you're talking about cannonball races or horses, which I actually didn't take into account when writing the script, but who cares? Horses are horses, of course it's. And these are cars. These cars go well above 100 miles per hour to win. And each race, much like in Mario Kart, you know, except for the gigantic blue shell coming to destroy your face and your face. Family. For all of you that recently played Mario Kart that doesn't actually watch racing events, these races are sectioned off into different classes. According to Wikipedia, the cars are divided into two groups, GT300 and GT500. The names of the categories derive from the traditional maximum horsepower limit. In the early years of the series, GT500 cars would have no more than 500 horsepower, and GT300 cars would have a max at around 300 HP. However, the current generation of GT GT500 power plants produce in excess of 655 horsepower. 650 horsepower. Meanwhile, in present day GT300, the horsepower ranges varies from around 400 to just over 550 horsepower. However, GT300 cars have far less downward force than their GT500 counterparts. Don't want you don't know what downward force is? Imagine it in this way, okay? GT500 cars are heavier and less aerodynamic than GT300 cars, which are lighter and smaller in most cases. Of course, each car has their own backing by certain car companies like Toyota and Honda and such, but are also assigned a number much like in NASCAR in America. One thing that America and Japan have in common without it being anime or video games is their cars and racing, I gotta say. NASCAR in our United States, which I watch sometimes, sometimes not all the time, for all those who don't know actually started as an illegal sport using mo moonshine as the fuel for the engine to go fast. Gotta go fast. Mm, that's a new take on Sonic Sega. Don't do it. <laughs> this was illegal because A, moonshine is just whiskey made from home. B, it made cars go faster than actual cop cars at the time, which was well back in the 80s even. I'm serious. It wasn't that too long ago. But that's not the point of the video. Just something I thought was fun to know. The more you know. Now that we have that covered, the Good Smile Company, or otherwise known as the anime figurine makers, are also a team on the GT300. And you can guess that their decals are the that's right. Atune Miku. They used a BMW as their racing steed from 2010 to 2015, where they changed to a Mercedes-Benz GT3 vehicles up to up to today. But the most important thing is they run the number four car in the races. But if they are defending their title as race champions, they run the zero car. The Good Smile Racing Team is currently the second most successful team in the GT300 class with three team championship titles. Woohoo! You know that's a good run down of Super GT and how Vocaloid relates to it. But here's the thing. In Japan, rather than American racing, there are cheerleaders who wow the crowd to root for their specific team. These ladies are known as racing queens, okay? And they have always worn Vocaloid-related outfits since their debut on the Good Smile side. The original 2008 racing queen trio were, were nicknamed the Miku Miku Gals. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to supposed to say Miku Miku Star Gals or Miku Miku Gals, but there's a star right in between Miku and Gals. You know, maybe it's just something to make you look more cute. I don't know. And it could just be my fascination with Vocaloid cars and cheerleaders, but I'm not sure how to say this without me being a Gillette commercial. So I'll just say these racing queens that I hope your significant others appreciate you gals because you're beautiful. Is that a compliment in this day and age? I'm not sure. It seems like every time I hear someone say I, I deem would be a compliment, the person on the other 
end of it takes it offensively and it confuses shy people like me that just want to say a woman is pretty sexy without getting assaulted with hateful comments trying to defend their own insecurities. You get the point, right? These women are sexy and beautiful. And so are you. Ia really does like racing as well. Having an official album for Super GT named Circuit Beats for Super GTs. 20th birthday. It was a very good album, complete with CDs and merch, as well as full-on concert in the middle of the raceway. <laughs> Honestly, that's as much information as I could get from a simple Google search. So if you know anything, then go ahead and tell me in the comments so I can make an update video. Now it's time for my own personal opinion on Vocaloid and races. I personally think they go together like pie and crust. But, <laughs> but I do realize why racing is so popular in Japan. Simply by way of gambling. I'm not sure how I feel about Vocaloids being attributed to gambling in certain ways, but then again, it isn't directly correlated, and I'm not sure they want to keep the image of their singers in a positive light instead of the subtle dark alleyways that are actually the front gate to the raceway. Weird, but that's just that's just being raised in a different culture. Then you know that that's just me. That's just me. My personal favorite thing about Vocaloid racing, which would be a good game for Sega to make since they like making racing games so much, is that racing introduces people to Vocaloid. Of course, specifically Japanese people, but, but still, it's amazing to watch. And also just so spectacular of an idea that I'm kind of jealous they don't have it in NASCAR in America. <laughs> and, and honestly, I'd love to see other Vocaloids come into play. But that's all I've gotten this far, so if you know anything else, let me know in the comments down below, please. I love this stuff. So, if you want more Vocaloid or gaming content, then press the subscribe button. And if you want to see more of Demo Talks, then go ahead and click that like button as well. Don't make me a Gillette commercial. I don't don't want it. I'll, I'll accept royalties if you do, though. Don't you doubt that. I think you'll come back. I know you'll come back first some more. Demo Talks. Catch it next time. <laughs>